Greetings to everyone watching. Today we are going to explore a milestone that has never been seen before in the history of modern construction. A project that not only redefines how humans build highways, but also reveals China's strategic vision in the age of automation. My name is James and welcome to China Discoveries Official. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Imagine this, a highway section that stretches for 157.79 kilometers, which is about 98.06 miles. It was built by 10 fully automated AI machines while humans sat inside control rooms and monitored everything from a distance. This is the first large-scale unmanned highway paving project in the world. And what shocks everyone is that these machines made thousands of independent decisions every second without a single human sitting inside a cabin. But why did China do this? Why would they trust an entire national expressway to a robotic workforce? The story begins almost 10 years ago when an event nearly crippled China's entire transportation system. In the year 2015, during the National Day holiday, about 750 million people were on the move at the same time. A bottleneck at a toll station squeezed 50 lanes into 20 lanes. It created a traffic jam that stretched for miles. The media called it Carmageddon. Thousands of cars were stuck for many hours under the scorching heat. That chaos made the leadership realize a truth they could no longer ignore. The old infrastructure was no longer smart enough, fast enough, or flexible enough to serve a massive population that was moving and shipping goods at a growing pace. If China continued to rely on traditional construction methods, the country would always fall behind its own demand. And that is why they needed a leap, not a small incremental upgrade, but a complete breakthrough. A breakthrough that could cut construction time, raise project quality, and turn heavy and hazardous labor into tasks handled by robots. At dawn on September 26, in the year 2024, people living along the Beijing-Hong Kong-Macau Expressway also known as the G4 route, witnessed something they had never seen before. 10 giant AI-powered machines appeared on the road at the same time. There were no rhythmic shouts, no hundreds of workers holding shovels. There were only 10 machines weighing many tons moving in a perfect formation, like a robotic army programmed with extreme precision. Leading the formation was the Sany SAP 200C10PA, one of the most advanced paving machines in the world. Its heated screed surface stretched 19.25 meters, which is about 63.18 feet. It could pave four full lanes at the same time. In other words, with one single pass, the entire width of the highway was completed. Right behind it were three groups of rollers operating in a one plus three, plus three plus three formation. They included six double drum steel rollers weighing about 13 tons each, which is about 26,000 pounds and three rubber tire rollers weighing about 30 tons each, which is about 60,000 pounds. Together, they formed a complete compaction chain. Every machine moved in the correct position, at the correct speed, with the correct vibration, as if the entire formation was breathing in one synchronized rhythm. And the most astonishing part is that this formation was not following a fixed pre-programmed path. Each machine could make its own decisions in real time. When the ground shifted slightly, the robot automatically adjusted the screed angle. When a section needed extra compression, a roller increased its pressure. When the cameras detected an obstacle ahead, the AI system immediately guided the machine to avoid it in the most efficient way. Thanks to a direct link with the Beidou satellite navigation system, the entire operation maintained an accuracy of less than two millimeters, which is roughly the thickness of a coin. In short, the robots worked more steadily more precisely and more intelligently than humans in tasks that demanded extremely fine tolerances. But what allows these robots to reach such near-perfect accuracy? The answer lies in what Sany calls the self-sensing system with ultra-precise positioning. This is a unified brain made of multiple layers of sensors. Infrared sensors measure the temperature of the hot asphalt to determine the ideal moment for compaction. Pressure sensors constantly check surface density Cameras and radar scan the path to detect every obstacle from a tiny pebble to the slightest road deviation. GPS combined with the Beidou satellite system keeps each machine locked in place with centimeter level accuracy. 
Drones flying above create a three-dimensional map of the road in real time and send the data back to the ground. With this rich data stream, the robots see the entire work zone, just like a surgeon seeing each layer of tissue before making an incision. Meanwhile, in the United States, a similar resurfacing project on the I-180 highway took many months because it relied entirely on manual labor. The Chinese project took only a few weeks. In terms of cost, China cut labor expenses by about 40%, which is equal to millions of United States dollars. This is not just overtaking in technology, it is overtaking in speed and in the entire operating model. One of the biggest challenges in global construction is the road edge. This is the area where even a slight compaction error can compromise the entire structure. Humans have always struggled here because it is difficult to control the exact force and the exact alignment. It is also the area most likely to crack or crumble. But robots solve this problem with what engineers call zero edge rolling, which means edge compaction with zero deviation. The boundary tracking system allows the rollers to stay aligned with the road edge with an accuracy of about 0.1 inch. This delivers a result so perfect that even the most experienced construction crews rarely achieve it. No gaps, no under compaction, no fractures, and no structural failure at the edge. This is the moment when engineers realized that robots were not just replicating human ability, they were surpassing it in tasks that require extreme stability and extreme precision. These advancements bring economic benefits far beyond labor savings. When robots handle most of the heavy work, construction time is reduced by up to 60%. A project in the West that usually lasts through several construction seasons can be shortened to just a few weeks in China. This not only saves direct costs, but also reduces indirect losses, such as traffic congestion, road closures, and recurring maintenance. The more precise the highway is, the longer it lasts and the fewer cracks appear, which significantly lowers long-term maintenance costs for any nation. China understands that this is not just a single project. It is the beginning of a long-term strategy under the Made in China 2025 framework in the Belt and Road Initiative, bringing artificial intelligence into the core of national infrastructure. From building bridges and drilling tunnels to assembling skyscrapers and constructing power lines, Autonomous robots are becoming the new generation workforce. As the population ages and the labor force in heavy industries declines sharply, robots will become the key to maintaining economic growth. Not long after the G4 project was completed, the world reacted. The European Union announced a new research program on automated construction. Japan added construction robots to its official plan for Expo 2030. The United States did not make a public announcement, but the Department of Transportation quietly began testing similar technologies. However, there is one major difference that keeps China ahead. The government is willing to deploy at massive scale. The country always has huge infrastructure projects ready for testing. And most importantly, China has the ability to mass produce machines in a way no other nation can. These factors create a formula that is extremely difficult for the world to copy. It is a model in which China is the tester, the manufacturer, and the implementer all at once, creating a technological gap that continues to widen and becomes harder to close. Now imagine what the next 10 years could look like. Highways that repair themselves when sensors detect damage. Bridges built in remote mountains without a single worker on site. Emergency structures erected within hours after a natural disaster thanks to a robotic fleet activated from a central control room. All of this can become reality, and the first piece of that future is this 157.79 kilometer highway, which is about 98.06 miles. Of course, with any breakthrough, questions about jobs are unavoidable. Robots will certainly replace traditional construction work, but this does not mean mass unemployment. In fact, entirely new roles will appear. Robot design, system maintenance, AI operation monitoring, construction data analysis, and remote infrastructure management. This is not job loss. It is a transition to higher level work that is safer and requires more skill. And the most important point is that this 157 kilometer section, which is about 97.6 miles, is only the beginning. The 10 AI machines that completed this project 
are already working at another construction site. Every additional kilometer they finish generates even more data, making the AI smarter, more accurate, and more autonomous. If China can build an expressway without human workers, imagine what will happen when they apply this technology to bigger and more powerful purposes. Because right now, another project is drilling straight through the Himalayas, and it is making the United States very uneasy. If you want to know why, click to watch the next video.